friends. Good morning. Today has not, did you just puke? Did she puke? <laughs> yes, hold on. Okay, let's try that again. Good morning, friends. Today has not started out the way that I expected it to. Uh, this morning we had a little boo-boo. Mommy was getting ready like I always do. And I lay Jossie on the floor near our bedroom, like near our bathroom door on the floor. And she plays and she drinks a bottle and she talks to me and you know, whatever. And it's always been fine. This morning she's laying on the ground and all of a sudden she lets out this like crazy scream that I had never heard her scream before. And it looked like she was just laying on the floor. So I was like, all right, maybe she's just done with that. So I picked her up and put her in her extra saucer in the bathroom with me. Finished getting ready. And then when I picked her up out of the extra saucer, I saw a little bloody prick mark on the back of her head. Poor girl. Apparently, um, our threshold on our, like to our door, like where the carpet meets the bathroom floor, came up. And she was laying like right there and I think one of the little carpet tacks that holds the carpet down that's usually covered by the threshold poked her in the head. So I called the doctor and they said it's probably no big deal because she's technically already had a TDP shot. Um, so to just wash it with soap and water and put some ointment on it and then just watch it for like pus or redness or infection. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to wash her little boo-boo. Okay, we'll go in your exercise here, get washed. <laughs> so I'm gonna do that real quick. gonna make like a really cute like montage of me like mixing the coffee and then like, making it all pretty and aesthetic and YouTube-y but I can't do that because that was a disaster I realized that all my stuff to make my coffee was in the dishwasher the dishwasher was still dirty so I was wearing Jossie and I bent over and I banged her head on the cabinet when I bent over to get the dish soap, um, after she already got poked in the head with a tack. And then Jameson was asking me a question and Jackson was asking me for help. And the sound of both of their computers going at the same time, like I just had an overload. Quarantine has been really hard. We haven't been anywhere. I am the most understanding person when it comes to why we're doing this. I totally get it but this is freaking hard. It's hard. So I don't know why I'm telling you that. <laughs> I'm just trying to keep an accurate documentation of what's going on and how it feels day by day. So I think we're in week eight now 
of the quarantine. Um, that's a long time. It's a long time and I wanted to do a video today because I wanted to get like, cause their school is gonna be over soon. I wanted to get one more day like in the life of doing homeschool. So we're still gonna make that happen, but it may not be an aesthetically pleasing video and that's okay. Cause we're still just beginning and quarantine is hard. Hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side our fears are done. All the good times just begun Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right With you and I, the future is bright So the morning schoolwork is done. Jossie is grump grump. So she's gonna go take a nap. And then I just saw where something very exciting came in the mail for the boys. So as soon as she's down for her nap, we're gonna go ahead and open our surprise and show you what we got. Okay, say night night Jossie. Say night night Jossie. <laughs> <laughs> Collecting yeah. packages during a pandemic, yo. Okay, what is this? What are they? Um, worms? Yeah, worms. Are they, are they moving or are they sleeping? They're caterpillars. Okay. Oh, it says, go read me. Is this exciting? Yeah. Look how cute they are. Oh, I also, when, when they go in cocoons, me and James. I love You see them moving around? They might, they might grow up. Okay, your caterpillars may seem inactive when they first arrive. Don't worry, this is normal. Please give your caterpillars 24 to 48 hours to adjust after their bumpy journey to you. They soon will begin eating and growing before your very eyes. Keep your cup of caterpillars away from direct sunlight, heat, and drafts. We guarantee three out of five of the caterpillars will become adult butterflies. Hey, miss. What are you doing? Oh, hi. <laughs> the cat is in the baby lounger. Nora, is that for you? Hi, Pippi. Hi. Hi. Look who's awake. Hi. Hi, pretty girl. Oh, your mirror needs cleaned. Say hello. Hi. Do you see mommy in the mirror? How'd I do that? No. So it's been a couple of hours now. Um, I don't even really remember what the last thing that we did was. I think the boys and I ate lunch. Sissy took a nap. She's awake now. And now we're outside because for the last two days it's been raining and my kids thrive on outdoor time. So we sort of put the pause button on school for right now. We got lots done this morning. There's Pip. Um, and so now we're taking a little outdoors break. Sissy's here drinking her milk. She has on a size three month coat because I didn't think that we were gonna need a bigger one. The boys are, I think, jousting. Can you see that? <laughs> they're jousting. Um, so they're hanging out. She's drinking her bottle. Here they come again. Okay, 
so I've been jousted. Daddy's face. <laughs> She's like, well, my hands are busy and I need to pull that beard. Okay, it's been a couple of hours. I made a rookie mistake and forgot to charge my battery and then it died. So battery is charged now. I worked out, hence my crazy hair, and we did dinner. And we realized that we got done with dinner soon enough that we could go on a family walk. So that's what we're gonna do. We've never been on a walk with all five of us and Pippa before, ever. So this is the first time. And we're catching it on camera. <laughs> And the boys are gonna get ready for bed. Ready? Yeah. One, two, three. Perfect. <laughs> okay, big boys are in bed. They're doing their TV time and iPad time. And now it's little Mrs. turn to go to bed. Oh, and she's ready. I'm gonna put her down. Say night night, Josie. <gasps> Say night night. Oh, okay, here we go. Hi. So, it's later. Um, I meant to film more after I got the kids to bed and I meant to end this video very differently. But after we got them to sleep, I basically had a breakdown. Um, just out of frustration and fear and worry and anxiety and the heavy feeling of the unknown um I got like really mad at Jeff for no reason and it was just really weird I felt like really out of control of my like emotions and my thought process and um, after he and I started talking about it I realized that it had to be like emotional distress um and I cried pretty hard this quarantine thing is crazy. I told him tonight that it it feels hard to even look for the light at the end of the tunnel because you don't know where it is. What does the light look like, you know? Like, when this is over, I don't think our world will ever look the same. I think it's gonna always, this is gonna impact life for forever. Everything's gonna change. In that that feeling and that thought of life as you knew it being gone just swallowed me tonight it feels like 
you know, right as you get used to it and it feels normal, you remember that it, this is not normal. This is not what life looked like nine weeks ago. And it's just a, it's a mind boggling thing to process. So that's how I spent my evening. It is now late, 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 like almost one o'clock in the morning late, but I didn't want to, it's 1237. I didn't want to skip out on ending the video. So I wanted to say this is it for this one. Um, thank you for watching. I do appreciate you watching if you have. And if you wouldn't mind liking and subscribing to our channel and considering sharing us with your friends, we'd love to see you in the next video. Bye.